I'm Belinda Fremo, President of Passionate Project Management, where we're passionate about your success. Today's topic is two different quality charts, the histogram versus a Pareto diagram or Pareto chart. So we'll start with the histogram. Most people are familiar with the histogram. It's simply a bar chart. The height of the bars represents the number of variables. A Pareto chart, on the other hand, is a special type of histogram. So what we do in a Pareto chart is we take the causes of poor quality and we put them in rank order by frequency of occurring. The other major difference or hallmark of a Pareto chart is an arc on the chart that represents the cumulative percentage. It's named a Pareto chart after the Pareto principle, the 80-20 principle. And you may remember if you saw one of my previous videos, Duran applied the Pareto principle to quality issues. And that's why we use this quality tool to help us prioritize and focus. So again, they both start with the same base. They have the bars that represent the frequency of variables. The difference between a histogram and a Pareto chart is the Pareto is done in rank order and includes that cumulative percentage arc. I hope you've learned something today about the difference between a histogram and a Pareto chart. I love your comments, so please leave me one. If you'd like some more resources, check out our website at www.passionatepm.com. I'm Belinda Fremo. Have a great day.